wanted to create a garden because my wife and I love uh, entertaining and dining in the garden. And we began to kind of brainstorm the kind of color that would help pop the nighttime garden and the big one is white. I think the components to, to a nighttime garden go everywhere from something that's fragrant, um, from Asiatic lilies to um, things that give different height and dimensions from a limelight hydrangea that's going to bring a lot of height to a snow white cleome that's kind of a mid-ground plant. Um, and even ostrospermum in the early season, it's a nice cool season, uh, African daisy uh, with a nice punch of white. I have done a little bit of up lighting, uh, not extravagantly, so it kind of helped give structure and bones to the garden. You know, I, I chose little lambs in this application because little lamb, uh, Hydrangea paniculata, um, is um, it's a smaller flower and uh, blooms about the same time as the limelight, but it tends not to be as floppy. I chose um, the peewee um, hydrangea oak leaf uh, up on the bank, and it too just it kind of illuminates at night. Um, also, limelight over in the perennial garden um, uh, is another great white hydrangea, along with the Annabelle uh, hydrangea arborescence. Agapanthus is an uh, African lily that is not hardy to the mountains, but the secret to them is um, either to plant them in their pot in the ground, which I'll show you some others in the other garden, and then dig them up and uh, bring them into your garage or into the basement in the wintertime. Agapanthus perform best when they're very root bound and they flower best when they're root bound. So keep them in a pot for a period of time uh, really actually helps to bloom. Uh, but this is um, uh, Hibiscus Diane. It's a summer bloomer, uh, typically uh, late June into July. Wonderful long bloom time. You get a good six weeks bloom out of this. Uh, mostly full sun, but it will take a little bit of shade. Um, an evening garden is not really just for entertaining. One of the things that's really fun about an evening garden is that there's just enough light.